WWJ News Time. It's 232. With the NFL draft headed to Detroit next week and many roads blocked off, how are downtown businesses feeling about it? WWJ's Daryl and Horn joins us live with more on this story. Good afternoon, Daryl. Good afternoon, Tony. So the draft is definitely going to bring tons of businesses to business to the city, but with so many roads in downtown Detroit closed off, you wouldn't guess that some businesses are suffering due to parking restrictions like the ham shop on Moreau and Randolph. Here's what the owner, Sal, had to say. There was a lot of business in the morning. All my regulars have a hard time to park, hard time to drive. It takes a long time to, to get here. So we're struggling right now. I hope city or the NFL can make it up to me. His business is directly next to where the NFL stage is going to be. And according to officials, many of the main streets in downtown Detroit will be blocked off until May 5th. Daryl Horn, WWJ News Radio 950. All right, Daryl, thank you. With the NFL draft next week comes road closures in downtown Detroit. While businesses are mixed about that, officials responsible for infrastructure say they're doing the best they can to help everyone have the best experience. With more on this story, we're joined live by WWJ's Daryl Horn. Good afternoon, Daryl. Good afternoon, Tony. So if you've driven downtown lately, it's probably taking you a lot longer to get to your destination or find parking. Some reviews were mixed about when it comes to how businesses feel about all of this, but the city's infrastructure chief says they're doing everything they can to make parking easier for drivers who want to enjoy downtown. We know the road closures and an event like this are really impactful for the residences and businesses downtown. We're trying to do the best that we can to get the word out that businesses are open and encouraging our employees and encouraging businesses that are in downtown to help support their neighbors and to be supporting the restaurants and uh, bars and businesses that are down here. The closures will be in place until May 6th, so businesses and drivers will have to wait just a bit longer for the inconvenience. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Daryl Horn, WWJ News Radio 950. All right, Daryl, and thank you. One day, much of downtown Detroit is in a flux as preparations are underway for next week's NFL draft. That's been both a good and bad thing for local business owners. WWJ's Daryl Horn joins us live with more. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Tracy. So the draft is definitely going to bring tons of business to the city, especially to local bars and local restaurants. But with so many road closures in downtown Detroit right now, some local bars aren't seeing as much business with traffic restrictions and parking restrictions. But the manager at the Greenwich Time Pub says all they've done is prepare for the draft. Our regulars are, you know, not able to drink even what they want just because we have to prepare and supply 100 200,000 people so we're ready to do it yes and her business is located near a near michigan avenue sorry <laughs> so she's definitely right next to a lot of the construction that's going on and according to officials many of the streets in downtown detroit will be closed off until about may 6th Reporting in live, reporting in downtown Detroit, Daryl Horn, WWJ News Radio 950. All right, thank you, Daryl. WWJ News Time, it's 404. With the NFL draft coming to downtown Detroit next week and many roads now blocked off, how are downtown businesses feeling about it? WWJ's Daryl Horn joins us live with more on this story. Daryl? Hi, Tony. So downtown Detroit is looking a lot different leading up to the NFL draft next week. And with the changes come some local businesses who tell me t today that the parking restrictions have led to their establishments taking a financial hit. But for Will Willingham, owner of Plug in the D Clothing on Broadway Street, he says the anticipation has brought more business for his store. Um, I'll take it because this area right here um, is pretty much... Um it's built for the walking traffic. It's a lot of businesses and stuff like that around here. And I mean, if we were downtown in any other city, you know, it'd be just something to get used to. Now, the city chief of infrastructure says the road closures are expected to stay up until about May 6th. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Daryl Horn, WWJ News Radio 950. All right, Daryl, and thank you. And